And now, the Hallelujah Program with Minister Deborah Jackson and Brother Daniel. Now, praise the Lord out there in YouTube television land. Minister Daniels is still out. You know, we're just going to pray that whatever that tooth he has, that he gets a good dentist because he has a, how you say, a nasty, nasty tooth. Hallelujah. That's causing him to go to the emergency room and much pain. It must be his wisdom tooth because, you know, your wisdom tooth, I think, is the most baddest monster that you can have in your mouth is your wisdom tooth. And when I was coming up, I always thought the wisdom tooth, if you got it pulled, that you would lose your wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a kid. I didn't know it said the wisdom tooth. I thought the wisdom tooth had something to do with wisdom. But as I grew older, I realized that that wisdom tooth will cause you a whole lot of pain. And the reason that it's called a wisdom tooth is because you're supposed to have enough wisdom to go to the dentist before that wisdom tooth starts causing you a lot of pain. Hallelujah. Thank you. We're just going to pray that that tooth gets better and that he gets a good dentist and they take the poor little wisdom tooth out of his mouth. Lord, I just want to thank you for being at the TV again. I thought I was going to be gone, but Lord, you know the place. You know when, you know how, and you know why. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just praying that the Joint Commission, I'm saying the Joint Commission, Come to this agency for their survey so I can go on me a vacation because my body is T-I-R-E-D tired. Mm. But one thing, when you get up under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, he regenerates you. Amen. He gives you power. Yes, he Hallelujah. Does. He gives you strength. He will make it make you feel like you are not tired. But as soon as you come out up under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, all oh, that yeah. tiredness comes yeah. back. Man, but man, when man. you are up under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, everything is good. Everything is pure. Everything is nice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, I'm glad that we got Evangelist Pat and Granny at the TV today. And, you know, I don't know what subject we use to kind of converse, but God laid on my heart to talk about Jehovah Jireh. And, you know, and you know, Jehovah Jireh, it deals with Abraham and his son. And I'm going to let Evangelist Pat elaborate more on that. But that will be coming out of Genesis 22. I mean, I'm quite sure from a little child, no matter what nationality, no matter what religion you are, you done heard about Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Because he's our all in all. Jehovah Jireh. He's right there. He's a right now God. Amen. I appreciate that. Uh, just knowing who God really is and what he is to us right now. Uh, Granny, can you read that Genesis for us? Genesis, what is it? Um, it's Genesis 22. Genesis 22. And it started at the first verse. You can. And it came to pass that after these things, that God did tempt Abraham and say unto him, Abraham, and he said, Be, be oh, here I am. Uh huh. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, Come on. whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moab, and offer him there for a burnt offering Come on. upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son, and cleave <coughs> the woods for the burnt offering Come on. that rose and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day after Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place uh, off, offered off, and Abraham said unto the young man, abide ye there with us, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son, and he took the fire in his hand and knife that a knife, and they went both of them together. Uh-huh. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, 
his father and said, My father. And he says, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood. Come on. But where is the lamb hmm. for the burnt offering? Come on. Amen. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb come on, for the come burnt on. offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. All and right. Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, <clears throat> and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Come on. And the angels of the Lord Call upon him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Come on. And he said, here, I, here am I. And he said, lay not thine hand upon the, the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, <coughs> see it thou hast not withheld thy son that only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him Come on. a ram caught in a thicket hmm, by the horn. Come on. And, the, and Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for the burnt, burnt offering in the, right. instead of his son. Amen. All right, all right. Saying, you know what's the important part is that something that Abraham said, and that was before Jesus came, he said, God will provide, provide. himself oh, a yes. lamb for a burnt offering. Amen. And the burnt offering was Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This is in the beginning. This is in Genesis. And this the other part is in the New Testament. And Abraham foresee, he gave him the word that God will provide himself a lamb, and that lamb is Jesus. Behold the lamb of God. So way back in Genesis, God was thinking about providing for us all of our evil and deeds and nasty ways. He was thinking about that we didn't have to take all these animals and, and have the priests go into the, the tent for the sacrifice. That was in Genesis. This is the beginning but in the new testament here comes jesus the lamb the burnt offering hallelujah and you know why they say do this in remembrance of me as often as you do this you need to remember jesus hallelujah god will provide he has provided for me he's provided for granny he's provided for pat Amen. we are yet living among the land of the living oh, we're yeah. not in a convalescent hospital we are able to talk we're able to breathe we still got blood running down in our body we got our faculties hallelujah thank you jesus because god has provided don't worry about who is going to be the president of the united states Amen. don't worry about who they're going to pick for the vice president. Don't worry because my God said that he will provide. He has provided for the United States of America in, in, in what our dollars say in God we trust. I know they're trying to take it off but it's amazing that that dollar bill still has in God we trust. Hallelujah. You got to put all of your faith in God and he will provide for you. Don't worry if your child is a homosexual. Don't don't worry if they're a lesbian. Don't worry if they're stealing from you. Don't worry if they dropped out of school. Don't worry if they're incarcerated. Just remember, God will provide. Jehovah Jireh. You just keep praying, let it go, give it to God, and watch and work. Come Glory. on, come Amen. on, Amen. come on. Dr. Jackson, you know, I was just thinking about what you said, that, that God will provide. And Abraham was just so obedient. That's right. He was just so obedient. He just knew God would take care. He would provide. And you know that old saying that you say, God has a ram in the bush. A ram. He has a ram in the bush. Come on. Like you were saying just now, we don't have to worry who's going to be the president. That's right. It's in God's hand. That's and we right. thank God that he always makes the right decision. That's right. And we praise him for what he's going to do. And who 
that he's going to make president. We thank Amen. God for it. Amen. That's right. Whoever. He Amen. is doing what he said he would do. He will provide. He will and he provide. provided for Abraham. Had that ram just in the bush, just waiting. Just waiting just on waiting. It. That was open. In, in the thicker bush. In the just, thicker bush. He done got caught in the bush. Got caught Couldn't go in nowhere. The bush. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how God provides for Amen. us. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. You be trying to think of a way out, and, yes. and God already done figured a way out. You just got to be in the right place at the right time right and the right man. Right and you know Jesus and pray and let him watch him work. And watch just, him work. Just oh. our mindset. You know, we just, we just trusting and believing what God would do. That's right. And we have right. to be obedient just like Abraham was obedient. That's right. Amen. He was obedient. He didn't know. He said, all I know is to obey God. Yes. That's right. And he's going to take care of me. Oh, he yes. is my provider. Oh, yes. Praise God. Oh, yes. Granny, what has yes. God provided for you? God has just so on, much rock for me. With it, Granny. Oh, Come on. He did so much for me. Amen. Yes. And yes. I tell you, you know, I hear the old people say he <laughs> brought me out of darkness. Yes. Into this marvelous light. Yes. And he did the same thing for me. He brought me out of darkness. He placed my foot. On a solid foundation. Come on. You know, and he girdled up my mind. Girdle, girdle. You know, he girdled, you know, has put it together, held my mind together, because if God wouldn't have caught a hold of my mind, uh -huh. I tell you, I don't know where I would be today. All right. Yeah. Because I tell you, I thank God. Amen. Because whatever we need, whatever we need, God got it. Come on. And all we have to do is obey God. You see how Abraham obeyed God. Yes, obeyed. Even so to take his son. Yes, his and, and, son. And, and, and to, to uh, 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 offer his son up. And Jesus told us that he would provide. Yes. And he believed Jesus. Yes, he did. And see, when he believed, he just did what what God had told him to do. And then when time come to bring that knife down to come kill on, come on. Isaac, See, God told him no to let the angels say no, don't harm him. Said, look in the bush in the I back, and that was I a ram. A bush. See, Come God on. has a ram in the bush for all of us. All we have to do is live for him. Obey him. Come on, Obey man. the word. Do what the word say do. If it say do it, you do it. If it say don't do it, don't do it. Because I tell you, God will provide. Because I tell you, I can go for myself. Uh, at, the, at the times when I was younger, when I started raising, getting, having my babies, I had some time that I couldn't even eat. Come on. I would feed my children first and whatever was left over Amen. in their plate. I would put it together and I would eat it. But I tell you, I know God had a ram in the bush a for me. Bush. Because yeah. now I cannot even have a eat what God has provided come on, come for me. On, come on. God has provided a plenty. You know, I, I don't have to even wonder what I'm going to eat for breakfast, what I'm going to eat for lunch, what I'm going to eat for dinner, whatever the Lord lay on my mind. That's what I can eat now. Amen. Whatever. And see, he supplied all of my needs. Because, see, when I was a little girl, we walked everywhere we went. Come on. We didn't have no cars. Come on. And then later on, my father bought a horse. And it was so many of us, we rode that horse my, my. until old Dixie went and laid down and died. <laughs> we still had to keep walking. Pretty we real, walked real. to school. We walked to church. We walked to the store. Everywhere we went, we walked. But I tell you, saints of God, God has blessed me. Yeah. I, he blessed me to get driver's license. Come on, he blessed come on. me to get cars. Come on. You know, when one car go down, yeah. God blesses me to get another one. All right. And I tell you, I don't have to walk nowhere if I don't want to. No more. Get in my car and drive around and go where I have to go. All right. And I tell you, thank yes, you, you Jesus. Amen. I even think about that we didn't go to the doctors and to the dentist like we're talking about brother Daniel yeah, yeah. having a bad toothache. I know what that is uh -huh. because when I was little, you get a toothache, you just put something on just it. Put a string on it. on it. on it. They even had this different remedies. Uh, uh, you putting perfume and everything else on anything that you think 
would stop the ache. But don't but I tell it. you now, let me God had already. But oh, you got to get, get dental plans for right, us now. Right. But wait a minute. Don't yeah. forget about the, what they used to do if your tooth was loose. They put a <laughs> yeah, string yeah, put around a it. String come around on, it. Come on. And come and on and shut pull the that string. And that tooth would just that pop out. out. Yes, yeah. it would. That was yes, the it would. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You didn't have to worry about the bleeding. They just put a old bag or sock or anything and held it down and told you to close your mouth and and just keep biting on it. That's mm, it. Till it stop. And then another thing, sometimes you get cut somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. And they would get some spider webs and all that other my, junk, my, my. all kind of junk, and put on you. You know, you get the cold. Mm. You'd have a cold, and they put all kind of old stinky ointments up on you. Yeah, but yeah, see, yeah. God had a ram in the bush. He provided. He, got, he provided for us. He got Medicare for us old folks. Yeah, we right, have right. Uh, uh, H- HMOs. And the PPO and places that we can go and get our help taken care of. That's right. And I tell you, I thank God for it. Amen. Because last week my blood pressure was up. My, my, so my. I had a place to go. That's right. I went to Kaiser and they gave me more medicine and they, you know, kept you just watching over me. Yeah, See, yeah. but when we were little, we had the, we didn't have that. No. We didn't have no doctors to watch over us. Jesus That's was right. our doctor. That's yeah. right. Jesus, Jesus was doctor. He was our ram in the bush. Yeah. He brought us through our, uh, uh, hard trials and tribulations and brought us here. And now we have some help. God, that's our ram, them, those HMOs and our, uh, our, all these doctors. Okay. That's our ram in the bush. When we get to hurting too bad, we can go to the doctor. That's right. But Amen. see, then when we were growing up, we didn't have that was doctors. it. We had to depend on Jesus. Amen. But we still today must depend on Jesus because he, in his word of God, said everything that we need, God got it. Anything. All we have to do is ask God for it and do it and obey him. Obey. Be like, be like Abraham. Be obedient. That's right. That's be what, obedient. That's right. That's right. That's the first book in the Bible. Abraham, he obeyed. He obeyed. Obeyed even to... One had bind his son, laid him on the come altar, on, come on. and <clears throat> hand up with the knife in his hand to bring it down to offer his only son up. I and that and that's what God did. God sent forth his only, his only begotten, begotten son, son. Come only on, come begotten on. son, came down through forty two generations, come on, come so on. to save a wretch. The sinner, sinner, world, sin, sin sick world that we live in today. So uh, we have a advocate. The advocate is Jesus. See, God sent Jesus down to teach us how to live holy. Come on. How to live saved. And then after that, Jesus died. He gave up. He obeyed his, his father God. And he gave up his life. Nobody killed him. He gave up his life for us that we might have the right to the tree of life. And then when he went away, he went away and he said, I'm going away, told his disciples, come on, come I'm on. going away and I'm going to send you a comforter. That's the right. comforter, which is, which is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Some Ghost. people call it the Holy Ghost. Some call it the Holy Spirit. But it's a comforter. And he said, it will lead you. It will guide you. It will direct you. It will let you know when you're doing right. It will let you know when you're doing wrong. Come on. And I tell you, if you don't have the Holy Ghost the Holy living Ghost. in you, the, the Bible said, my body is a temple of, of the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. And that's what the Holy Ghost dwells in us. Come on, and baby. if we don't have the Holy Ghost, now is the time to... To get the Holy Ghost. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sin. Right. Ask the Lord to clean you up. Come because on. see, the Holy Ghost will not dwell in an unclean temple. That's right. You that's got right. to be clean. You got to be pure. You got to be holy in order for the Holy Ghost to dwell in you. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, now is the time to get it. Right. Now is the time. Seek. He said, seek. The Lord, while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Because I tell you, God says, and he said, take my yoke upon you Come and on. learn of me. He says, my yoke is easy and my burdens is light. You don't have to worry. All you have to do is just surrender your life to, to God. Turn from your wicked way. Don't be out there trying to do all of these things. Come See, on. it doesn't matter whether you or whatever sin God 
forgives all sin. There's no little sin on, and there's on, no come big come sin. On, come on. All sin, all unrighteousness is sin. And all you have to do is ask God to forgive you. Whether you're a liar, whether you're a homemonger, whether you're a prostitute, Whatever. whether you're a, a, a transvestite, whether you're a, a, a lesbian, whether you're a gay man, whatever it is, whether you're just a little old white liar, you know, whatever it is, whether you're just doing this little old thing, them little, see those little bitty Underneath. things, Come the on. little, the little sins. Well, well, well the, this, the Bible said the little sour grapes is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna spoil the vine. So we have to make sure that we don't have any of those little things hanging around, you know, because they hang around, and you know, oh, this show look good, and I'm gonna go, oh, well, uh, yes, we, Come I on. used to do this. Oh, we got to get all of that out. Ask God to wash me, cleanse me, make me pure, make me over, because Lord. When you made me, I was born in sin Come and on. shaped in iniquity. Come and on. in sin was my, I was conceived. And it's now, Lord, I'm asking you just take all that sin away from me. All of it, Lord. Wash me. Make me over. Make me to be what you would have me to be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me be what pure so that I can be a vessel ready to be used by God. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, you Jesus. You was on time with that word. But I know in Genesis, uh, what you read today, is teaching us that we should be obedient to God. Whatever oh, God yes. is asking us to do, to, for us to continue to be obedient to God and really listen to what God is telling us. Oh, yes. Because he's telling us something through that scripture today. You know, uh, and remember that he will take care of us. We don't have to worry. We're just going to believe and trust that God is going to do it. But Granny, I'm a little hungry today. You hungry? And you know what? Uh, Let me. You know, I think. Of, I mean, for some reason, Father's Day is coming early. It's yes. Father's Day tomorrow. No, I think it's no, next week. It's, it's next week. It's, it's, it's next 15. week. Yeah, but they're they having a lot of Father's Day preparations. Yeah, you know? they are. But the greatest Father of all mm -hmm. is God. Amen. You know, you can have an earthly father, but you know, as Granny was talking, it brought me back when he, she said that we was preceding sin. But see, Jesus was not preceded in any sin That's because right. Mary knew no man. no man. Hallelujah. So he provided a person to walk the earth like us, Amen. which was Jesus, that did not know sin. That's right. He was surrounded by sin. That's sin right. could have entered in. The devil tempted Jesus, but he resisted the devil. Mm -hmm. So we need to resist the things of the devil or of your enemy or the things that you know that you should not do. You need to ask God for revelation, salvation. You need to repent. You know, the Bible say that, come on, in the book of Revelation, the Bible say that every knee shall bow. what? Bow. And every tongue, tongue shall, shall what? Confess. confess. That what, Granny? That Jesus, that is Jesus Lord. Christ is, is Lord. Yes. So no matter what religion, no nationality, you know, I don't care if you Hindu, Buddhist, Scientology, Church of God in Christ, Christian, Baptist, Catholic, it doesn't matter. It's your heart. Your heart. Hallelujah. Right. And make sure that you don't be caught in the wrong place at the wrong time when your clock is ticking for you to leave this earth. You Amen. better get your heart in order. order. Set your Amen. house in order. That's Amen. Right. God is good today. Yes, he is. What a word. What a word. Coming from uh, Granny, Dr. Jackson. All right. Y'all telling it? Y'all telling <coughs> Teaching that word today. Teaching the word. Teaching the word. Well, Keep us on the course. I mean, you know, we're supposed to be. Preaching Amen. is good, but sometimes you have to teach. Amen. You just have to break it down. Amen. And it's amazing that every time that you read the scripture, he interprets it different. different. I have read that many times, yes. but I missed the part that Abraham said that he was going to provide a lamb. Yes, uh -huh. he was going to. You know, and that was in the God beginning. Was provide that that lamb. God uh -huh. was going to provide a burnt offering, a lamb. All the many times that I read, it never dawned on me that in the beginning, even 
God was telling us about what's going to happen in the New Testament, but we didn't see it. Hallelujah. Now we That's see a it. revelation. Amen. It's in the beginning. He was pointing out that his son. They always saying that it, the son was prophesied to come. The son was prophesied right there mm -hmm. that he was going to provide. And, right. and the demonstration is that he used Abraham only son to take to the burnt offering and he had a thicker bush lamb and mm -hmm. he and God used his only son for us for the burnt offering and just think hallelujah about just think about that his only son here Abraham is a father yes and he's been mm -hmm. begging and begging for children come on yes just been asking God I believe me his only son Lord you sure you want to you know you sure you want me to do this to Isaac Yes. His only son. Could you magnet the agony and what he's feeling inside as he's going up to that mountain, mm -hmm. going to get that lamb? But yes. he's, he's trusting God. And God, I believe that God, uh, uh, Abraham's faith moved God. That's right. That's it right. moved God. He just believed God. And, and he, he provided. And he provided. Jehovah Jireh. So I, we want to tell you out there, if you believe in God for something, trust him. First, obey him. Amen. Because he will provide for you. Oh, he yeah. will provide your lamb. He Jehovah, is our provider. Jehovah. You know, the Bible say, who do they say I am? What is my name? They say, I, I am. am Jehovah. Yes. You know, we got Jehovah Java, Jehovah Niskanu, and all that. But Jehovah, Jehovah. You know, we talk about the Jehovah Witness. They just go to church on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But Jehovah. Who do they say I am? What is my name? My name is Jehovah. I am Jehovah. I am Jehovah Jireh. I will provide for you. You just have to have the faith of that mustard seed, and I will provide for you. And you need to stop worrying. The Bible says that we're not to worry, but our flesh wrestles against the spirit, and we start worrying. We forget that Jehovah Jireh will provide for us in the midst of our trial, in the midst of our tribulation, in the midst of our situation. Situation. Yes. He will bring us out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. For Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh is the song said. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My provider. Not only my provider, but he can be your provider if you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I like, Hallelujah. The, way, I like the way you said that, Dr. Jack. In the midst of your situation. In the midst, in the midst of your trial. Oh, you. yeah. Whatever yes. is going on. In the midst of it. Oh, there's there's children out there that uh, in high school graduating, yes. and at the last minute they found out they're not graduating. Come on, come in on. The midst of that situation, in the midst. that happened to me. I supposed to been graduating, but I praise God that my, my, I, my. Uh, God says not your time yet. My, my, and I was my. obedient and went on to the graduation today, and they were having a beautiful time. Uh -huh. What a great graduation that was today! But God said, I got your time. Come on, obedience. Right. Listen. I'm your provider. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Praise God. Because he um, has something greater than the graduation that you saw yes. today. Amen. Yours is greater. Amen. You just got to keep mm -hmm. going. I appreciate what, it. Don't, Amen. don't worry about it because Amen. he wants you to be higher than what you saw today. Amen. Your Amen. goal is higher. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's going to provide. God. He will provide. And, you and know, uh, we just thank God for the time we had today here in Internet land and just sharing with the people yes. today. And we want to say God bless you to those fathers that are great fathers. That, are, that Everyone that's out there, Father, God bless you. Amen. And we praise God for everyone that's graduating today. Yes. God bless you, Minister Lewis. God bless you. Yes. Amen. And remember this. Yes. As you say, you thought you was, you planned to graduate today, but Come remember, on. yes, the race is not given to the swift. Come on, not the journey to the strong, but it's the one that holds out to and the end. To the Just end. hold on. Oh, amen. Hold praise on. God, God, God has got something my time. good praise for you. I praise God, God for that. Exactly for you. But he for worked you. it out, though. He's working it out, and he's I praise God for what he's doing. Because he's an awesome guy. He's oh, an yes. awesome he's guy. An awesome he guy. will provide. He will provide. He is Jehovah he Jireh. He is our provider. Amen. God bless you today. God bless you. God bless you. And amen. I just want to say to all these people that are sick in, out in Radio Land, out in uh, cyberspace. Kind. Uh, Come on. That that we we are praying for you, praying for the ones in the convalescent, praying for the ones that's uh at home, the praying for the ones that's in the hospital, and we just want to pray especially for Brother Daniel. Yes. And we praying and too. For, and it and that bad too. Praying yes. for my niece yes. that yes. had to end up with her blood pressure and everything, going up, putting her in the hospital. My, my, but thank my. God she's coming home. My, my, we're praying my. special prayer for them and. 
Just praying, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Lord, stretch Jesus. out your nail scarred hands. Yes, God. Lord, you see the need. You know the need. Yes, you know God. what they Thank need you, before we ask, Lord. Yes. Ask you, Lord, to supply to every need. Touch, heal, and deliver, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Well, Lord, we want to thank you for what you have done. We're going to thank you for what you are doing. Lord, we just want to thank you just, in advance, Lord, in the you, name of you, Jesus, you, we pray. Thank you, thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. We praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord has provided. Thank you, Jesus. And if you don't have anything to do, just meet me. Uh, on June, between June and... Yeah, they gone. We uh, off there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we're still on. Oh, and, uh, uh, between June the 22nd yes. and June the 26th, this is uh, our, our uh, national convention will convene. I'm sorry I don't have that address, but it's in Richmond, California. The New Bethel affiliation of churches. We will be there from June the 22nd through the 26th. Uh, and, and I'll give you the old address. It's 101 Market Street. I got that one, but we'll be in San Pablo. But if you get to 101 Market Street in Richmond, they'll tell you exactly where All to go. Right. And uh, come on up. And you know the ones that's up there in the Bay Area. I know you listening. Uh, just come on. Come on and, and, and join in with us and help us. You know, it says help our little children. We are, we right. are small affiliation of churches. Come on and be with us. And God will bless you because I tell you, I know, and you come out on that Friday, on that Saturday night, and God is going to truly bless you because my pastor, the pastor Trent Breland, will be bringing the message right. on that Saturday night. So come on out. If you want to hear some good preaching, come on out and join in with us in, 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 in serving the Lord because God got something good for you. God got a God got a blessing for you. With your name on it. 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 Come on. With your name on it. Come on. If you know about Jehovah Jireh, oh, the yes. Lord will, will provide. provide. Amen. Hallelujah oh, yes. for the provider. Oh yes. Jehovah and I know the Lord Jireh. really is a provider. Yes. He provided a way for me to get up there. Come on. And I come thank on. God for that. That's a blessing. Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Transportation, you don't have to be on an ass and the ass is a donkey. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. And you know, what's the difference between a donkey and a mule? <laughs> they both got four legs, and you can ride them. <laughs> Hallelujah. A donkey is a little Jesus. shorter than a mule. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the Hallelujah Program with Minister Deborah Jackson and Brother Daniel. 